Hello, welcome to Juniata College. Thanks for joining in to Juniata Connected, featuring Master's Program Monday. Um, if you joined in last week, we featured bioinformatics, uh, where Dr. Gina Lamandela got to talk about the program uh, and got to feature one of our graduate students, Justin Wright, uh, who gave us a tour of the lab. And this week, we're focusing on our MBA, our Master's in Organizational Leadership, and our Master's in Accounting. And I have with me uh, Dr. Don Peruso, uh, Juniata Professor, but Director of our Graduate Programs, and also Chair of Accounting, Business, and Economics. Uh, also have one of our graduate students, uh, Joey DeGangi, who is also a Juniata alumnus as well. And also, if you are going to be looking to pursue a graduate program, Kayla Demonic, who's a Juniata, grad, uh, Juniata alum as well, uh, but also our admissions counselor uh, for our graduate students. And so with that, uh, we're just going to get into the program. Uh, Dr. Peruso, uh, thanks for joining in today. And uh, we'd love to just tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, give us a rundown on each of the three programs. and. Why should students pursue these programs at Juniata? Sure, my name is Dom Peruso. I've uh, been here for just about 20 years now at the college, and I've chaired our uh, Department of Accounting, Business, and Economics for a little bit more than half that time. Uh, for the past several years, I've been our Director of Graduate Programs. So I'll give you just a little bit of background about how we started graduate programs here. And you know why? You know, even though Juniata College is is best known as an undergraduate liberal arts college, why that translates really well to the, the graduate education area. So a little over a decade ago, um, we driven mostly by uh, our alumni who were looking for. Uh, further education in the area of accounting. Pennsylvania CPA law was changing, and so the faculty, uh, we put together a pretty intensive plan for a, a one-year uh, one graduate program in accounting. And so as we, we began to develop that, we, we've had a nice history in accounting, business overall, but especially accounting. And the, our early grads from that program did really well. We did well with big four placements. Uh, we did well with uh, regional firms as well. And so that began to build some momentum and frankly, a little confidence for the faculty. And we said, hey, why don't we try this with an MBA and a master's in organizational leadership? And so again, driven, driven a lot by our alumni. So we, we would talk to them uh, informally and formally in focus groups, and they would come up with various ideas based on their career needs, what they're seeing out there in practice. And we said, we think we can do this. <clears throat> and so with, uh, with their assistance and a lot of homework, we, uh, we developed a curriculum for both the, uh, the master's in business administration and the master's in organizational leadership. And so we've run those programs for a little, each of those two programs for a little over three years now. Excellent. And so uh, students that are enrolled in those programs, um, tell us a little bit about them. Are they adult learners? Um, are they balancing this with a career? And how is the credential helping them uh, with uh, their career pursuits? Sure, we do have a number of, of adult learners who are working professionals, and, and so there, there's a number of career goals. I mean, obviously, a, a changing positions, promotional opportunities, those kind of things. Also, learning new skills. I mean, we have a number of uh, folks who are working professionals that say, hey, I'd like to learn a little bit more about accounting or data analytics or healthcare administration, all of which are concentrations within the MBA. Uh, we have folks working at nonprofit organizations, working in government, who say, hey, I'd really like to be able to take that next step into leadership. So we have a good bit of that, um, where it's, it's their, their goals are primarily focused on career advancement. We do have a number of folks as well, um, some of whom were, were Juniata alumni, uh, but they, they see it as a, as a challenge, sort of a personal development uh, exercise for them, and they've done really well. And so what we see in the classrooms is a fairly wide range of uh, adult learners, some who have been out of college just a few years, other, others for frankly a few decades, um, and have a variety of experiences in a variety of different industries. And so I, th I think it's a good match and, and it pairs really well with our faculty as well, with their professional experience. And I can talk a little bit more about them in a little bit. All right, yeah. excellent. Well, <clears throat> to use your words, uh, that next step in their career, this is where it's great that we have Joey DeGangi here. And again, a, a Juniata graduate, but also enrolled in our master's program, also uh, balancing it with your career as well. So Joey, I'd love to have you share a little bit about your full Juniata story, undergrad, um, a little bit about your career and uh, why you're pursuing the MBA. Yeah, so uh, like, you, like you mentioned, I was a 2018 graduate of Juniata. I was in the AV department. I was a marketing management student. 
So right after I graduated, I took a position uh, full-time for a software company. Um, so I got a little bit of a chance to travel. Uh, I came back to, uh, to the United States and I'm working now full-time. And right as I got back in the first year, uh, I enrolled in the MBA program. And I think Dom, you really kind of hit the nail on the head in terms of what really, I wanted to expand my skill sets. You know, I had a, a great undergraduate experience, even got to start a business at that, at that stage in my life. Um, but you know, as I entered the work world, you know, I just saw how much more there was to, to learn. Um, one of the biggest ones, of course, being the, the analytical skills like you, you had talked about. I think that's something that every single meeting, I was part of a, a full marketing team, and every week we would always get down to the metrics, everything from you know, a social media campaign to larger organizational metric goals and trying to make sure that we're hitting different KPIs. So all of that, you know, I just wanted to have a better sense for being able to understand that and apply it to what I was doing. And that's been one of the things I've really gotten a lot out. I'm about 50, just over the 50% 50, 50 mark now in the MBA. And that's been one of the biggest things I really enjoyed with that. Um, and then other, on, on top of it, I think um, I really like the international uh, focus. So again, I, you know, I came in from, I, I started my career in Taiwan, actually, mm -hmm. not the United States. Um, and I'm still with that company. So we're working on a, as a part of a global team. And one of the things I really like about the MBA program is that we work with different companies, different clients, um, and some of the capstone courses for it. Um, that, that go outside of um, you know, just like, like the, the businesses that I was involved in. You get to kind of work with like more of like a global, um, global base. Excellent. And so when compared to other MBA opportunities that are out there at other colleges and universities, why did you get that for you? So I think um, you know, really one of the biggest things was that there was this kind of focus. It wasn't, it, it, it was uh, more of like an international Mm -hmm. Because I know that's, you know, that certainly in my career and I would imagine for anybody else that's in the, the working world, especially you know, after now everything is, you know, becoming more and more global. I think that's a huge advantage. In the fact, that, that program was already kind of set up with, a, with, a, with an international focus. It was built into the, you know, into its DNA. Um, I really like that about the program. Excellent. And so more of a lighthearted question. Have you had Dr. Peruso in the classroom? I haven't. <laughs> it's, one, it's one of those things. I don't know how I managed to, to do that, but I took several accounting courses and I was in ABE all four years, but just never never, never crossed paths in the classroom. But a couple of internships I was a part of, you know, I would go and, and kind of run that by him first, but just not not in the classroom itself. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Because I was going to ask, what is your favorite thing about Dr. Peruso as a professor? <laughs> so, uh, uh, but you haven't had him in the classroom. I have but, not. Not Great yet. faculty mentorship. Yep. Uh, who are some of the faculty that you've had a chance to work with? Uh, so uh, Dr. Wei Chung Wong has been one of the uh, most impactful professors. And now at this point, um, you know, beyond beyond my uh, academic career here and I are still very close. He co-founded the company that I'm a part of, uh, the Taiwanese company. And him and I are business partners on uh, a few other ventures as well. So him and I work very closely together. Um, and then some of the other uh, faculty, uh, Dr. Li Shen, Mm -hmm. um, she she was coming in right as I was coming out in 2018, um, and it was good. I got to be part of her, her very first class, and yeah. you know, she sees me. She's like, I remember where you were sitting. I remember you know starting off that class, and it was you know her first semester. It was my last semester, and um, but now you know I'm part of a, a local business, and so she she brings us in as clients. So we get to still keep that relationship going. Um, and she was one of the uh, professors that I've had throughout the MBA. Excellent. So, for any uh, future graduate students uh, that are thinking about a graduate degree specifically in the MBA, organizational leadership, or a master's in accounting, uh, a great suite of uh, programs that we have here at Juniata. And if you're interested, Kaylee Demonic would be your admissions counselor who you'd be speaking with. So, Kaylee, just a quick uh, rundown of who you are and how should students connect with you. Yes, yeah, so I'm Kaylee Demonic. I am the graduate admission counselor. If you would like to learn more because of what you've heard today and you've enjoyed it, um, you can find us online by searching Juniata College Graduate Programs. We do have info sessions daily from 9 to 3, um, and you can find all of my contact information on there as well, and I'd be happy to connect with you to teach you a little bit more about these programs. Excellent. Thanks, Kaylee. And uh, some great highlights about the program. Uh, flexibility, uh, these three programs online, um, and the other piece of it too is affordability. Uh, 
700, $775 per credit. These are 30 credit uh, programs. Uh, but if you're a junior alum, $600 per credit. So there's an alumni uh, incentive there uh, from a, an affordability standpoint. So again, feel free to connect with Kaylee to learn more. Um, and if you are an undergraduate student seeing this right now, or a parent of an undergraduate student uh, who is on the college search journey, Something I do want to feature is Juniata College last year uh, launched a new accelerated uh, four-year degree model, which is actually two degrees in, uh, in four years. Uh, so students that begin as a business major uh, can do so and complete the bachelor's degree in three years and then get the, math, uh, the MBA uh, in an accelerated manner in one year. And uh, starting this year for fall 2022, uh, undergraduate students applying for admission. Uh, we have new three plus ones in communications, uh, three years to an MBA, communications three years to an organizational leadership master's in one year, uh, chemistry in three years to an MBA in one year, and then also uh, psychology three years to an MBA, uh, environmental studies, three years to an MBA, and then uh, also uh, the other program we have is Spanish Hispanic Cultures, three years, one year MBA. So uh, new four year model, two degrees in a three plus one format. If you wanna learn more, again, connect with us here in admissions. Everybody, thank you very much for joining in today. Thank Thanks for uh, all of you out there joining in to Junietta Connected. Uh, next master's program Monday, same time, same place. Uh, we're going to feature data science, so uh, we hope to see you next time, but thanks for tuning in.